Greetings, this is Edward Ojambo. In this tutorial, JavaScript associate arrays will be used. This is part two of the JavaScript arrays series. This is brought to you from ojamboshop.com learning JavaScript course. An array specifies a variable that can be indexed as a list in rows and columns. Associate arrays store a collection of named key and value pairs. In this example, as you can see here, I create a variable called pickup truck and I use squiggly uh, uh, brackets here so I can put the key pairs. For example, I have brand, which is Ford model F series and the year 1984. You can also use the square brackets to create an associative array. I'll show that in an example. So let's begin. Okay, so first thing I'll do is I'll create a variable call it pick up pick up truck and then in here I'll create our brand which will be Ford create the model which will be the F series. Create one more key, which will be the year. And I'll make 1984. Now we can output the content of our associative array. So for example, if I want to do the brand, I can use the square bracket or I can also use just the period so I can say pickup truck dot brand and then I can also do the same for the rest pickup truck dot model and console.log pickup truck dot year as I promised you can also create uh, an associative array using the square brackets so then you can then create uh, the data, for example, I can say the brand equals, I'll make this one Dodge. I can say pickup truck to the year. Oh no, uh, I'll do something else. I'll make it the uh, transmission equals I'll make it a manual transmission go inside our log pick up truck two dot brand console dot log pick up truck truck two dot transmission now if I want to copy some of the values from one object to another I can use object dot assign and then I can say pick up this will be the target truck truck two and the source is pickup truck. Now the stuff will all change here. So, for example, if I were to check the brand, and I'll do the model, 
pickup truck two dot model pickup truck two dot year and finally pickup truck two dot transmission we can also get all the key value pairs in an in a regular array so we can say pickup truck so this will generate key value pair and then obviously we can do console.log pt and then we can also get only the values and pick up truck And of course, console.log. Yeah, we didn't make a mistake, so I'll go down and we do a compile. I made a mistake. Oh, I spelled entries wrong. Entries, there we go. And as you can see, here's the result. So you see what happened here, it was dodge and it was manual transmission. When I assigned it, they then took the values of the object key and values from the first truck. And that's Ford now, F3 is 1984, but it still has the manual. You can get a full article out of jumbo.com slash JavaScript hyphen associate of arrays. You can see here there's some common functions. This is what we did today. You can expand here to get the code snippet. This is just a screenshot of the code that we typed in the, the web IDE today. And this is the output. This is the video watching right now. And you can go to ojumboshop.com for the JavaScript course, all a Python course, all a PHP course. If you, uh, all these uh, courses, they do already come with the programming language and an IDE as you just saw. If you want to get ebooks, you can go to oh, uh, Amazon and you can uh, click just simply click on the links here. You'll be able to get it from from Amazon. There's now there's a learning uh, JavaScript. The reason it's not showing up yet is because this video was recorded uh, post dated, but this will show uh, the book is live on Amazon as you can see here. The learning. Uh, JavaScript course it's live and if you you simply go to Amazon you can just simply type in Edward Ojumbo and you click the name and immediately it will show all the books together uh, as I said JavaScript uh, doesn't show up yet but you can see you can get the learning Python you can get the learning PHP and very soon uh, once this video is live the JavaScript one will be there as well and also, if you prefer to one-on-one -on -one tutorials online, you can visit ojumboservices.com. We also offer uh, a custom application, the web, mobile, or desktop. The best way to contact us is to go to contact page. I'll be back in a second for that one. You can call uh, any of this number. This one is only for North America. This is for direct dial anywhere in the world. So if you go to the contact page, just put in your information here and then press send. Thank you.